most terrifying, visceral, and bloody scenes ever committed to film. My contribution to horror is nothing short of genius. Before my retirement, people demanded to know my secret. How did I make it all look so real? <laughs> if you really want to know how the sausage is made in a Willard Wyler picture, the recipe is simple. First, you add actors. Then, you start grinding. Hello? Hey! Anybody here? This is the place, right? I feel like we're being set up for some punk-ass reality show. This is a Willard Wyler production. One time he held an audition on an abandoned steamship and then sunk it just for effect. Wait, you mean with the actors on it? <laughs> yeah, I, I was, uh, I was just getting in the character. <coughs> <coughs> uh, <gasps> Willard Wyler? You're late. Welcome. You've all been chosen to play a unique role in my return to the big screen. My killer comeback. But I'll warn you now, my methods tend to be a little <laughs> extreme. Is he kidding? I expect my actors to give it their all. Their blood, their bodies, everything to the performance. Thus, it is imperative we set the mood to ensure each of you fully commits to your character. What you're about to become a part of is a culmination of my life's work. The crowning achievement of my career. The first scene is set in the 1980s. I call it Zombies in Spaceland. Hang on to your seats! <laughs> he is so not kidding. Dismemberment, that is. And do please feel free to make it a blood staff. My audience tends to be that of the city. A lot of good these guns are gonna do if I run out of ammo.
or are these gonna get ripped out in like five seconds? I got the strangest feeling like I've done this before. I just found some, like, weird little robot head. Oh, leave that silly little robot alone. You're not part of the official prop list. the pack of punches on the other side of this blockade.
That felt really weird. <laughs> 